America's most trusted ally is snubbing it. No country in the world now trusts American promises and Japan is also one of them. Since the end of World War II, Japan has relied upon the American nuclear umbrella to guard itself from China, North Korea and Russia. But Japan is now gunning for strategic independence. And that means the US could soon lose its most important partner in the Indo-Pacific. Hi and welcome, you're watching Outright, we tell you the right side of the story. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for such Outright videos. On paper, Japan is a pacifist country. Article 9 of Japan's constitution explicitly denies Japan the right to have a full-fledged military force. It cannot spend more than 1% of its GDP on defense and it cannot acquire heavier, bigger weapons to ensure the country never goes offensive. Shinzo Abe was the first Prime Minister of modern Japan to realize that Article 9 was a tool for the US to keep Japan under its thumb. For security, Japan had to rely upon the US at the expense of its political independence. Tokyo's policies would be designed by Washington DC. So Shinzo Abe took it upon himself to radically alter the defense policy of the country. He ensured that Article 9 remains on paper only. And now, when he is no longer alive, his successor Fumio Kishida is helping realize his ambitions, his dream of turning Japan into a formidable force. Japan is now acquiring massive weapons for its military to better counter rising security threats from China and North Korea. As per a report from Asia Times, Japan intends to research and develop hypersonic missiles, improved high-speed glide bombs, improved Type 03 surface-to-air missiles, target observation munitions, unmanned underwater vehicles or UAV, and sea mines. Japan also intends to purchase unmanned aerial vehicles or UAV, improved Type 12 anti-ship missiles, high-speed glide bombs, SH-60K anti-submarine helicopters and anti-ship missiles for maritime patrol aircraft, improved torpedoes with silent power units and Tomahawk cruise missiles. This massive acquisition campaign means Japan no longer trusts the US. Japanese retired Admiral Kawano Katsutoshi said, US presidential elections every four years and always unpredictable American public opinion raises fundamental questions about the constancy and reliability of US extended deterrence for its allies. Japan also worries that the US may never use nuclear weapons to save Japan from a Chinese attack. You see, North Korea and China already have developed mechanisms to strike the mainland US from their own territories. So, the US would never risk its own security just to help Japan defend itself, especially when you have a China-friendly administration in the White House. So, one can say Japan is now preparing for a war with China. The biggest dispute between the two countries revolves around the Senkaku Islands. And that is why Japan is preparing to deploy 1,000 missiles against China. Japan will deploy these missiles from ships, fighter jets, and mobile launchers on its southwest islands and Kyushu. Furthermore, Japan is also roping in trustworthy international players like India and Australia to beef up its military presence in the South China Sea. The Indian Air Force and Japanese Self-Defense Air Force recently concluded a 16-day air exercise in Japan. Last November, it was also reported by media that India will deploy its military assets near the South China Sea for the first time. So, Japan is clearly snubbing the US here and rolling out the red carpet for India. Japan has now realized that over-reliance on the US is fatal for its security and well-being.